Sur la chaîne Communauté Luxe, je reçois régulièrement des invités de prestige pour que vous puissiez découvrir l'univers fermé du luxe. Et quelles sont les ouvertures possibles pour vous J'ai invité l'italien Antonio Romano de Hot Lab qui conçoit des super yachts avec une nouvelle approche. Il appelle ceci l'architecture pour les voyageurs. La conversation est en anglais et durera 30 minutes. Il précise comment il intègre des artisans d'art dans sa démarche et dévoile ses projets en cours. Je vous souhaite une très bonne découverte. Bonjour Antonio. Uh, good morning Antonio. So I'm really happy to have you with us tomorrow, uh, this morning. My first question is, what is your realization, what, you, what is your favorite, favorite realization that you have done in your uh, professional life? Buongiorno Bettina, glad to meet you. Thanks for this kind invitation. A nice question, not an easy question as a first one. Let's say that uh, I know so about what we have done, but we always think about what we can achieve. So we try always to think forward. Uh, until now, let's say that we have created a studio, a yacht design studio, a bit more than 15 years ago. We are happy about the project that we have delivered, about the results that we get, about how our clients, how much they're happy on the yachts that we are realizing for them. But as I told you, that the realization will, uh, I can make, let's say, a sort of summary, maybe in 50 years when we have done. There's still a lot to do. And, and uh, in, so you, 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 could you just uh, make an example of, of one realization that you, you did, re did recently? Uh, sure, let's say um, one of the lower, latest projects that we have presented is... Um, is a range of motor yachts for an Italian shipyard called Columbus. And um, we had designed, let's say, three different kind of um, dimension. So a 37, a 43, and a 55 meter. At the moment, for the press and for the market, we have just presented the 43 meter. And the good thing, the good result was after two weeks of the presentation, a first client confirmed the order and bought the yacht. So she's already in build. And in our, let's say, uh, in our sector is quite difficult to get. Yes, so this could be absolutely a very good achievement because he has uh, two years of construction in front of us, a very expensive yacht. And uh, immediately after the presentation, just two weeks after receiving an order, go, wow, that's fabulous. And in general, so um, uh, where you, do you find your inspiration to uh, to 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 answer to the, um, to the wishes of your clients. That's when we talk about the exterior line, the exterior shape, we took a lot of inspiration from, from the car design and also from their architecture in general. We try to, to say our motto is architecture for voyagers. So we try to having always a combination between the inside and outside and the nature outside. So we have a team. We have a team of nine people. I have a partner that is, his name is Enrico Lumini, is the design director of the studio. Together, we have founded the company in 2004. So especially Enrico on this focus, on this issue, is the one that gets the inspiration a lot from car design. Regarding the interior, instead, it's totally different because regarding the interior, first of all, we do tailor-made yachts, so full custom. So it means that the clients give us some inspiration about what they like to do, and then we provide to him the project of their dreams. Uh, first, first of all, when I when I've seen uh, the name of your uh, your um, cabinet uh, d'architecture, um, in French you say that, or um, your studio, um, I I thought the name was quite amazing. So. It's hot lap. Where do the name come from? 
We discovered years after that it also the name, the combination of the names with two words are all very also very easy to remember. But we didn't know. We didn't have done a proper marketing studies for that. Uh, we create Hot Lab with the idea and with the main purpose of having something that is Latin, fashionable, Italian, let's say, in the terms of the creativity. So it's the hot, hot, hot part. But also we want to be extremely professional advanced in terms of technology it always arrive in time with our deliveries this is very important for us so this is the lab part and are also the two soul of our studio so between me and enrico we have different characters that really well match each other and uh yes yeah, so two words two way of thinking about the project two different characteristics and one studio So uh, this will be a secret who is the hot one and the lab one. <laughs> okay. Um, this is just a, a joke, so don't worry. Um, what, what I wanted to know as well is um, uh, in, 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 in the yachting area, uh, the Italians are, um, are so uh, Im implemented in this market they, they have a big, uh, they, they are the most important uh, shipyards over there and things like that. So how do you define in general um, the, um, the, the market, the Italian market with the, I, I will say with the German, Netherlands, English and so on markets? You are totally right about the Italian market. Let's say that um, we make a difference regarding the shipyard sector and the designer sector. About the shipyard, I think that the 70% of the yachts worldwide are built in Italy, uh, especially until a certain dimension. I mean, until 70, 75 meters is the maximum range, about range. There are also shipyards that are building 100 plus, but it's, um, let's say, something a bit different. Uh, we are surrounded by the sea, so it's a, an historical reason, first of all, and uh, a mix between uh, a good industry and a good design created... Uh, many shipyards in the various years, in the previous year. I mean, there are some shipyards with more than 100 years of history as about that. The way of doing or building yachts for the Italian, especially if we talk about metal construction, gives to the client a bit more flexibility into the project. So flexibility because when you are doing a custom yacht, it's important, in my opinion, to be flexible because the client's idea changes also during the construction. So he, could, he would like to have a a different style of the interior or maybe a yacht a bit longer or a bit smaller or a bit taller sometimes there are huge modifications and this flexibility gives the opportunity to many clients to arrive to the to the to the yachts of their dreams uh, the dutch and the german are considered say the top in the market in terms of dimension uh, sometimes also when not about the quality usually the key business the, the their strength is mostly upon 70 meter. This is the, the range usually. Uh, between 55, 50 and 70 meter, let's say the client has the option to choose between a good Italian, also Turkish, or also Dutch yards. So this is the main difference. Then the difference is about the quality, the price for sure, and the delivery time. These are the, tra the three main items in order to give the client the possibility to choose a yacht. In terms of design, instead, the two more important school of design, in my opinion, are the Italian one and the British one. They both came from, from uh, two major, major uh, or more famous architects of the past. So John Menemberg in UK, and uh, I would like to say Spadolini and Zuccon from Italy in Italy. Uh, and, sorry, Spadolini and Zuccon uh, about, the Italian, about the Italian design. Because first of all, they were architects. Uh, if we think about just 40 years ago, doesn't exist the work as a yacht designer. We're architects that trying to or succeeding in construct in build and design uh, yachts instead of houses or villas. So these are the two main school from best part of the actual designer arrives and took inspiration. 
In the last years, so um, the, there is a new part on a yacht, which is uh, the outdoor space, which is much more and more important. Um, what is your answer to this area? What 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 do you today? Uh, what you what you want to to push further? And what are the new uh, things that you um, the new ideas that you have chosen for this area? The, the, the yacht owners are becoming uh, younger and younger. There are, we receive requests also for yacht owners under 40 years old. And the idea of using the yacht is totally different in comparison of just 20 years ago. Let's say that there is no more so many clients that want to make long cruises, but are more, let's say, touch and go cruises. So maybe for a long weekend or for a week in the summertime. And during this period, also ourselves, we prefer to stay outside so to leave the outside spaces if we have an house we can maybe have a big terrace if we have a villa we can enjoy the garden on the yacht is something similar instead instead of using still using of my style of enjoying so much the internal area with air conditioning uh, and with of course the boundaries given by by the structure of the yacht the yacht owner young and not young prefer to enjoy the outside space maybe with uh, a roof upon them or maybe with some sliding glasses in order to be protected by the wind but to stay outside so the idea is that the trend right now is to enlarge as much as possible the last deck so the sun deck to use in the best way as possible the stern of the yacht with two or three different options so we can call it beach club so when the stern is totally closed but then is with some fold foldable uh wings or uh, opening part you can enjoy and stay outside or with the actual trend such as in the columbus 43 meter atlantic that i mentioned you before is having a stern totally open so not in closed spaces the dining area moving outside the possibility of enlarging the external area with some uh, wings maybe uh, that you can open a nice and comfortable pool and staying outside. So this is the actual trend. And this also works together with the internal area. So there is much more connection between inside and outside. The windows are bigger. So it's normal to have been from floor to ceiling windows in order to be connected with the natural outside. Or the door for the entrance usually are becoming more openable with sliding and with totally openable doors in order to having this inside out elements and connection between the spaces. So it's becoming as a unique area, especially on the main deck, so on the first deck of the yacht, uh, between inside and outside areas. When you uh, when you speak, um, when, when you started in your in your business um, at the beginning, where you you for example so when you when you were a child you said okay i want to be a architect i want to be a yacht designer i want to be what As a kid more than a child i was <laughs> i would like to design motorbikes <laughs> it's totally different ah totally <laughs> So, and, 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 and how it came that you have chosen this area? About with the friends about these stories. So, uh, the idea was, you know, during high school time, uh, I was not, let's say, the perfect student, a good student, but not the best student. So, I used a lot of time drawing motorbikes, making profile of sports motorbikes. So, around 16 years old or 17, I don't remember now, but I sent this drawing to a company in the north of Italy, very well known for the production of motorbikes. And this company, the general manager, was so kind to reply me regarding uh, giving some comments about my drawing. So it was positive comments, but he also told me, okay, you are just 17, maybe you shall do a college, do a university, study something. So he suggested me to, uh, to take a course about industrial design. And this is what I've done. I've taken an industrial design course in Rome, in the architectural, let's say, University of Rome. And over there, I was so lucky to meet Gianni Zuccon, that was, and he still is, one of the most famous Italian and worldwide yacht designer. So the one that maybe invented the, the work as a yacht designer here in Italy. And together with him, let's say, we have done the first 
concept was to design uh, a wheelhouse or yeah, a driving position, a wheelhouse of a, of a motorboat. Together we went to visit, together with the classroom, I mean, uh, we went to visit the Ferretti shipyard. And for me, it was the first time to see a boat in my life. So I was so well impressed about this mix of design, architecture, technology, and was totally in love with that, totally in love with that. And after years, let's say, I was so happy and lucky to start this as a proper work and career. I think so. It's really, as you said, there are so many items, so many areas uh it's quite amazing. So this is really, uh, which, which the, you, you could not imagine if you see a boat like that, that there is so, so much things behind. Fantastic. Yes. Great. Thank you, Antonio. So um, in, in, in terms of um, craftsmanship, so you use probably uh, for every project, you have to, to find something special and um, you are looking for a different craftsmen or people who uh, could help you to implement what you are dreaming about and especially what your client is dreaming about. Um, how do you choose this kind of craftsmen today and um, what, what they have to... If, this is the first part of my question. How do you choose them? And the second, what, what, do, what, what do you need especially from them uh, to implement this kind of uh, art in, in your work? Custom project, time by time, let's say, it depends about what kind of clients we have in front uh, and, of course, budget as well. So let's say that usually, in this case, we are talking about the interior design. Uh, when we confirm with the clients a project and when we choose the shipyard for building, then we have the possibility, together with the client and the shipyard, to choose the company that would build the main interior. And the best way to do that, there, are, there aren't so many companies at the end. There are just few companies that are really well known in this sector. So the best way to choose the company is to provide to them, of course, the first drawing and then to build a mock-up. So with a mock-up, let's say you have, I don't know, half of the bedroom, just to give you an example. In that case, you can really see the quality and the detail of how much this company is precise in building and, uh, and construct. But together, it's not, it's not just about that. There are many suppliers or partners, let's say, that are fundamental in this, in this industry, from um, companies that provide the boots or the marble or the leather. Uh, again, there, are, there aren't so many. There are few in which we totally trust. We, always, we try to always work, not with the same, but with the company that really can provide us the top-level services from a leather company that make leather just for super yachts or private jet or historical cars, or companies that are so well known into the marble industry because they cannot just provide the high quality marble. Also the marble with the honeycomb structure, so very light and with that kind of resistance that we need it. So they are end work, but very high quality and uh, demanding. Also from our side, uh, we are very demanding on that. The same is for the crystal or for the fabric. Any kind of material had to have some particular requests from our side or from the shipyard side. So best part of our, let's say, business partner, and not just supplier, proper business partner, are between Italy, France, and uh, Northern Europe. And we try always to collaborate with them. First mm -hmm. of all, also because they can provide easily some uh, samples or to reply quicker and easily to some uh, request from our side or from client side. Uh, in one yacht, for example, we had done uh, an entire uh, atrium of a staircase with this suede leather. We were designing uh, an end drawing with some jellyfish, and this end drawing was done with laser. Not so many companies can provide this, you know, so very limited company can provide this quality. Uh, Tell me again regarding the second, the second part of your question, because in the meantime, I forgot about, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, no, the second part is how you choose them and, um, and uh, yeah, how do you choose them to, 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 to find also new ideas and, and, and to translate really what the, 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 the client wants. Yeah, let's to... say uh, about more questions. 
I said, uh, yeah, we try yeah. always to, yeah. we prefer to work with the uh, natural material. So uh, for sure, leather, wood and marble and stones in general are our favorite material. Uh, Ayotze is done by several mm-hmm. really, uh, even small details and material from steel uh, to mother of pearl uh, to... When leather, when we say leather, it's not just, let's say, the typical leather, but we, we can even use fish leather or uh, snake or other kind of uh, particular elements. Uh, we try to be as much as possible also eco-friendly. So whenever we require some leather, we receive some certificate about from when the leather comes from or how it's painted in order to having not something that is with the impact for the, for the nature. Uh, the same is for the wood. The wood are always certified uh, about from the forest when the woods arrives and provide. So these also elements are also very important for us. Mm-hmm. So um, what do you in the future, what, what, what do you want to do? What haven't you done yet? Is there something, what you, what something totally special that you want to, to do once? On quite big project, so quite big yachts, honestly, and so finger crossed. Let's say we hope to see a couple of these vessels ready for 2023 and to present them in the Monocle show. This is the the first target. The second target that we have is to enlarge Hot Lab, and we have the idea to some cooperation in order to having maybe other, let's say, offices, not just in Milano. So this is another. Uh, target that we have in mind. And the third is not working exclusively exclusively into the yachting sector, but also in the small hotel versus small resort sector. We have done just one uh, in the north of Turkey. It's still not open yet, but the result, we are very proud about the final result. So uh, we have done this boutique hotel with 12 suites, uh, also with a with a wine yard, fabulous, really nice place for retreat, and we have done this because the, the the owner is also one of our clients about the yachting sector. So he, he contact again the studio for in order to, to provide him a uh, hand for uh, designing this boutique hotel. So the results is so beautiful in our opinion. They say, okay, why not? We could maybe also presenting hot lab also for this sector. So and. Uh, it's important sometimes to, to, to do something a bit different from what you do daily in order to get new inspiration, new ideas, and to, um, you know, to, again, to get new ideas and new uh, mood that maybe you can then transform and translate into the yachting project. Really nice. So, uh, first of all, I hope that we see uh, each other on, on the Monaco Yacht Show for sure. Um, and, and also what I uh, wanted to ask you, just my last question before I leave you go, is, is, what, is your, what is still your passion? Is it still motorbikes or is there something else? They even not bought a motorbike, I just bought a, a small Vespa. <laughs> And uh, was enough for me. And even though I don't have even the time to for really enjoying, let's say that with this work, uh, I travel quite a lot. So not so much time for enjoying a proper motorbike. Uh, but after that, I was so lucky to spend a first summer on board uh, of a yacht of uh, one of our clients. There isn't, there aren't other, uh, let's say, holidays better than that. So it's a drug. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Antonio, for being with us today. And uh, I wish you all the best for for the future and uh, that everything what you want to realize uh, will come true. So thank you so much. Have a good time. Thank you for this opportunity and love to see you in Monaco during the Yacht Show time.